Hello everyone, hello everyone. Thursday, let's fix some things, guys. So today we do have a Lenovo, that's Lenovo G40 series, which was booked in a small display. So let's see what this laptop is doing exactly. Here we have the power pack, which I am 100% sure is working. No, the power pack, I don't think it's okay. I don't think this power pack is good. Let me check again. 20, no, it is okay. So let's plug in the charger. You hear continuous beep. Unplug the charger, no beep. Plug the charger. You hear the, the continuous beep. Unplug the charger, no beep. The laptop is on. I'll show you the LEDs. One more time on. You see here. We have two LEDs, but we have nothing on the screen. That's the problem with this one. So, what can be here? What can be fault here? What can be fault? What about without the battery? Without the battery? There's no beep, nothing on the screen. Okay. So let's open this one quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hopefully it's fixable. Was it enough for G4 and G5? They have been. Let's see now. I just take out the the back cover, and we have a SATA drive. That the network card. That the heat sink. No fan. And uh, this some kind of all-in-one processor with graphics, chipset, PCH inside, page design. And uh, here they put the fan connector, but no fan, just its sync. Everyone is trying to make fake things these days. So, why this laptop is no display <laughs> and it's very dirty outside? Let me start by blowing it. That should be fine. Hopefully it's not the RAM issue because there was a lot of dust so can be can be the RAM problem. Let's use the battery and retest again. I just clean clean the RAM socket and uh, I want to see before I go further on.
two we have nothing there let's check some voltages you can see the power the the battery sign is flicking the battery is too low Do you have any voltage on the rim? One point three five, which I believe is okay. Let me look for a different rim. Let's continue now. So this rim is not working. With this rim is maybe this rim is 40 and I do have some rims here let's test one or two rims and see if we have display there we plug the charger charger plugged You can see the LED here, but still nothing on the screen. Let's test the third rim. Let's check out this. Three rims should be enough to conclude that it's not the rim issue or it is the rim issue. On again. Where is my power on button here? On. You can see the white light here. And uh, we don't have anything on the screen. Okay. So let's see what can be the problem here. But these laptops can be possible to have like a dead graphics, and the graphics is inside the processor. We can't do anything in that case. But let's see. Let's see. Let me check out all the screws and then we can test together. I just finished taking out all the screws. But uh, before I can get inside, I have to be curious about a few things. Because here, what do you have here? Here we have the screen connector. In the next to the screen connector, we have like a six leg chip. There at first, there was some sign of corrosion. So it's possible that maybe this, this laptop date by water damage. So what I want to do first before we jump to conclude into many things, I want to take out the screen ribbon cable connector yeah yeah maybe you can't see but we have like a three pins there three pins with corrosion so let's clean maybe that can be the problem but how come to have corrosion under this thing how come maybe that can fix the problem maybe I think I need to check a few things on under microscope here 
because I'm not here with the spins of the yeah we have like a three pins here I can see on the microscope which is not on the computer so I don't think we can have a display with something like that Let me use my wire brush. I do have a wire brush, this one, which I'm using to take out the corrosion on such kind of jobs. There is corrosion there on the screen connector. That the wire brush is very best. I bought these tools on the AliExpress like less than five years like the whole kit of 12. They will all be on different kind of jobs. I need to clean up the the area. Is clean up now looks better. What a just to dry. <laughs> so basically, some drops of water just to fall under the screen connector, and there was corrosion there. Let's see now. Let's see now. Maybe that's not the issue. But it's good to fix what you see first before you jump into into finding into concluding like a hard faults. Where's the power on power on? And we have Lenovo, you see? We have display. So, visual inspection is always important. And this loading windows, you see? So, that was corrosion under the screen ribbon cable connector on the motherboard. Like three pins. Maybe the owner dropped some few drops of water there, and from that moment the display died. Our laptop is working fine, it's loading windows. So I have many jobs, there's no reason to keep you on this video but I just want to to check the keyboard was it if the water comes on from the top it's possible that we have a, a non-working keyboard there but let's see enter Uh, the keyboard is has got some like some sort of keys which are not responding. Some keys are responding, some some are not. So obviously I will change the keyboard, we'll give the customer another keyboard, but this job is fixed, you can see. So I'll stop this video now.
like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates also share our videos if you like them to other to friends and relatives and workmates wherever i want to share them see you on the next one bye